final day of Christmas. First of all, super happy, beautiful, Merry Christmas to you. If you're tuning in today as I'm posting this, it's Christmas. Thank you so much for rocking with me on Christmas. I feel very honored to be part of your Christmas Day shenanigans. I'm so excited for the third annual Golden List Awards. If you are new here, this is my annual award show that we like to do. We kind of recap and go over everything, all the things that I've done, all the products that I've used in 2022 for hair, skin, makeup, and body care. And we literally just discuss all my favorites and pick winners for like each little category. It's a fun time, okay? So you're in for a treat. If you are new, I'm so glad that you're here make sure you smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new videos for the OGs this year we are switching things up a little bit this used to be like a New Year's Eve tradition but I figured maybe we could make it a Christmas Day tradition instead feel free to let me know how y'all feel about that in the comments I feel like we got up to so much this year from having my first chemical peel to trying pattern beauty for the third time from switching to gel styling to mousse styling like there was lots of first times and lots of experimentation this year which made it really really fun but before we get into all of that I do really want to quickly pause and take a moment to address mental illness really quickly mental illness has been huge this year as y'all know I've been pretty open here on YouTube I lost who was like a little sister to me her name was Addie back in February 2022 and I just really want to be a part of driving the conversation forward to reduce the stigma around mental illness. Mental illness is an illness, just like a cold, a flu, a broken arm. It's something that you're gonna need to seek help for. It's something that you're gonna need to heal from. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's no shame in it. I just really wanted to take a moment to pause and have a quick moment of silence for the lives that we have lost this year due to mental illness. If you are struggling yourself or if you know of a family or friend who's struggling, I am going to provide this number for you. This is a crisis text line. So if there's anything, if any kind of crisis, even like eating disorder, depression, anything, text this number, get help. They are available anytime, any day. So save it to your phone. You never know when this is going to come in handy. So it's, it would be good to just have it on hand and ready to go for when you or anybody else needs it. I personally have made it a huge priority to make sure that my mental sanity, my mental health in general is a priority in my everyday life, in my everyday business. I'm constantly like, up and doing stuff but I've really learned how to prioritize rest prioritize myself and give myself grace this year I've even come up with my new motto of the year which is look good feel good be good and I just know when all three of those are aligned that's when I'm at my best self and so of course the feel good portion of that motto has been a massive massive priority for me this year but of course you know we still gotta look good too honey i'm really excited to talk about all the products that we gotta talk about because it's crazy the way that i was doing this list and then comparing last year's list completely different i made so many lifestyle changes this year there's just so uh, it's growth okay that's what we're gonna call it we're gonna call it growth so let's go ahead and kick off with my favorite the biggest and the best category hair so 2022 for hair we did a lot i feel like within these past two years i have experimented a lot Specifically for 2022, I started out with that super like short, it was like an edgy, asymmetrical type of cut, if you will. It was heart shaped. Then I ended up growing the front out for a bit. I did like the long front side part type of vibe. And then I continued to grow it out, cut some more bangs, and then started to round my shape back out. But the different shapes and the different styles and stuff, of course, that came along lots of experimentations with different types of products and stuff in order to achieve different results. So lots of go through here we're gonna start off with my best and most favorite shampoo every single product that I mentioned in this video is a favorite which is why I get so excited about it because I literally get to tell y'all every single favorite product it's actually genuinely very stressful to have to pick a winner out of these but I do because you know what it's fun the nominees are the way detox shampoo the melanin African black soap shampoo the pattern beauty clarifying shampoo and the bumble and bumble moisturizing shampoo we got a really good mix of like super like deep cleaning shampoos and then also like moisturizing shampoos but if i really had to pick the winner the winner is gonna have to be miss way detox shampoo i really just had to sit down and think about this year like what is the shampoo that i have used the most 
and it's absolutely the way detox shampoo it's amazing they keep sending it to me which is great because I keep getting to be restocked but I love it so much the way it just balances out my scalp and my hair it offers a really deep cleanse without stripping my hair it is literally perfection in a bottle. I do actually still kind of like rotate it a little bit depending on whatever my hair and scalp is really requiring of me. Really whatever the state my hair is in is gonna depend on what shampoo I use, but it just so happened that I mostly used the detox. It was a necessary thing for a year where we did a lot of experimenting. All right, so moving right along, our next category is best treatment slash mask. So the nominees are the Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask, the Authentic Beauty Concept Hydrating Mask, the Avita Nutriplenish Treatment Mask, and the Bread Beauty Supply Detox Mud Mask. I mean, we've got moisture, protein and repair, and detox in there, so it's literally got all your bases covered. So if y'all need some good treatments and masks, this list is a really great place to start. But if I had to pick one winner, it's gonna be the Bread Beauty Supply Detox Mud Mask. I love that stuff. Clearly, I've been loving my detox products this year. It never feels overly stripping. It gets the job done, we get the detox in there, but it's not overly stripping either. We also love a black woman-owned brand, okay? Speaking of a good detox and a good wash day, we now gotta talk about the best wash and go styler and the nominees are girls with curls gel the do mousse def foam styler and the camille rose spiked honey mousse now if y'all were tapped into my videos this year i know that y'all already know the answer to this one that the winner here it's a very clear winner and that is gonna have to go to my ride or die the do mousse def foam styler so it was really towards like the second half of this year when I was rounding out my curls more, had my bangs back and everything. That shape in particular literally looks so, so good with so much volume. That's when I decided to make the switch from gel to mousse. And since I have tried mousse def, I have not looked, well, not that I haven't looked back, but it got me obsessed with mousse. And you guys have seen me experiment with multiple other different types of mousses. And let me tell you, while two gels may give you the same results, every mousse is so different from each other and I really find that there's no gel like mousse def you get top-notch holds it's literally my one single styler that I will use for a wash and go my curls will last me at least four days and we love her okay y'all know I'm a wash and go stan that's that's who I am at my core so if we're doing wash and go styler we gotta do best wash and go product combo so let's get into these nominees we have two options the combo of the way detox shampoo the brio geo don't despair repair deep conditioning mask and the do mousse death and then the second nominee is going to be the combo of the melanin hair care african black soap shampoo the authentic beauty concept hydrate mask along with the camille rose spiked honey mousse and the Brio Geo Pro Charisma Frizz Control Gel. These two are top favorite wash and go combos. So if you ever wondered where you wanted to start in order to get a really great wash and go, I would tell you to start with either two of these. But there is a clear winner here for me, and that is going to be the first combo of the Way Detox Shampoo, the Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair Mask, and the Do Mousse Def. I really like the fact that this combo was simpler. It's literally three product wash and go. That's my absolute favorite. In and out, quick. I am really curious to hear about some of your wash and go combos, so please, please get in those comments and let me know because I'm not done experimenting, okay? We're, we're probably gonna do more experimenting in 2023. Speaking of the experimenting, I have used a lot of new products this year. Product types that I've never used before, brands that I've never used before, so of course we gotta have a category for my favorite newbie products. The nominees are Fakai Volume Lock Spray, The Way Scalp Serum, The Bread Beauty Supply Detox Mud Mask, Inky List Salicylic Acid Scalp Treatment, and The Authentic Beauty Concept Hydrate Mask. Literally. All of these are so good. I'm gonna be saying that about every category, honestly, because I feel so passionate about every single product that I'm mentioning. But if I had to pick a winner and think about the product that made the most, the most of an impact, I guess, they were all very impactful to me. But the one that has 
made me truly like super 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 excited is actually the way scalp serum y'all and this is kind of more of like a towards the end of 2022 thing more recently since my birthday in october like after vacation i have been very consistent in the gym and with sweating and stuff my scalp has been like whoa that way scalp serum has been absolutely amazing it is definitely what i'm going to be using for my scalp while i have these cute braids in a really really close second place is going to be that Fakai Volume Lock Spray. Brand new eco-friendly aerosol spray that gives you humidity resistant volume. I mean, amazing. So very close second there. Next, we also got to talk about product of the year. All the nominees in this category are all products that I genuinely love that I will absolutely be repurchasing. We're talking like Holy Grail products that I literally do not want to live without. So the nominees are the Dew Mousse Def Foam Styler, Red Beauty Supply Detox Mud Mask, the Camille Rose Spiked Honey Mousse, Way Detox Shampoo, and the Fakai Volume Lock Spray. Clearly we see a theme here because I've mentioned a lot of these products in the other categories genuinely. Like I love these, but if I had to just look at this list, like if I, we're going on a desert island and I can only have one product out of this list. The winner is gonna have to be Moose Def, y'all. The Do Moose Def Foam Styler, she is really that girl. When I tried it the first time, I was very scared. You guys saw, because I, I tried it for the first time with y'all and I was not expecting to love it as much as I do. But at this point, I literally have two like restock, like full bottles here in my storage while I have one that is like in use in my bathroom because I need to make sure that I always have some Moose Def on deck. It's that serious. Last but not least, let's talk about the best curly hair tools in the game. The nominees are the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer, the new Rev Air Reverse Air Dryer, and the Felicia Leatherwood Detangling Brush. Again, tools that I really, really would not like to live without because I use them all in their different ways, but if I had to give a winner this year, I think Think for this year specifically, I have really, really been enjoying my Rev Air Reverse Air Dryer. So that's gonna be our winner for best curly girl tool of 2022. I love the fact that first of all, they came out with a new version that looks a lot more sexy. It's smaller, it's more sleek. It works literally the same way as the old one, but I, I just really appreciate the upgrade, honestly. I, you know, I'm a lazy natural and if I can cut time and effort out of doing my hair, I'm gonna do that. So whenever I need to blow dry my hair or stretch it for any kind of style, I am reaching for my Rev Air because it is foolproof, it is so easy to use, and I love it. All right, so moving on out of hair and on into makeup. This category is gonna be pretty uh, short, sweet, to the point, because you know what? For me, makeup in 2022 was all about less is more, honestly. I have been so hyper-focused on working out consistently, which I've done, yay! Um, and fixing my skin and healing my gut and balancing out my hormones from the inside out You know towards the end of last year and early this year. I was still really battling acne and stuff I did do a dedicated video by the way to my skincare journey So if you are interested in knowing exactly how I've cleared my skin healed my gut and everything All the details are in that video. So I'll link that in the description box for you below But yeah, it's been more focused on healthy skin and less on covering it up with that being said your girl will always be a beauty girl at heart I still do get excited to do a little makeup here and there to get a little glance to look a little cute. So first, we're gonna talk about my favorite complexion products. All of these nominees are gonna be more medium coverage complexion. I'm not really a full coverage girl anymore, especially since I've done so well with healing my skin. I'm so excited about it. So the nominees are the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation, the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation, the Tower 28 Sunny Days Tinted Foundation, and the Fenty Beauty Powder Foundation. And the winner is going to be Tower 28 Sunny Days. When I received this in PR, I was literally not expecting to love it as much as I do, but I just love the fact that it's like skincare and foundation. It is protecting your skin. It's packed with the mineral sunscreen. And I love the way it looks. It's nice and dewy on the skin. It looks really healthy. And I feel like you can like use a little bit or you can use a lot if you want, like depending on what coverage level you're going for. Moving right along, let's talk about concealers. I've been doing some things with concealer, okay? Lots of no foundation looks, which is what I have on today. You get your coverage, you get your brightening and everything to look nice and awake, but it is still very lightweight. Your skin can kind of still show through, and I love it. And so, 
The nominees for the best concealers in the game are the One Size Butter Silk Concealer, the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Concealer, and the NARS Soft Matte Cream Concealer. I still literally use all three of these. They stay literally right here, right in front of me on my desk because that those are my go-tos, hands down. But if I had to pick the one that I've been reaching for the most often this year, it is the One Size Butter Silk Concealer. This concealer took me by surprise. I had been using the NARS Radiant Concealer for a long time. One one size and shot that Tilbury really came out this year and took the top spot for concealers for me. Both of them are amazing, but that butter silk just hits a little different. What's funny is that I'm actually wearing the other two nominees. So I'm wearing the uh, the NARS cream concealer, it's covering up an acne spot somewhere on my forehead. And then the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation is basically everywhere else. Moving right along, if we're talking about complexion, if we're talking about concealer, we also really have to discuss blush and bronzer. And I have actually decided to merge those categories together. The nominees are going to be the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in the shade Love, the NARS Light Reflecting Loose Powder, and the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. Again, same situation, I literally have all these out in front of me on my desk for me to quickly reach whenever I need them because I interchange these and use these all the time. But y'all, the winner for this category is gonna have to be the NARS Light Reflecting Loose Powder. I use that every single time I put makeup on my face. Lately, especially, I have been really gravitating towards bronzer only looks, like no blush at all, no blush and no highlighter, it's crazy. It's crazy, but that's what I did today. It was just a little bit of that NARS Loose Powder Mm, she's so good. So I just make sure to use a shade that's like a couple shades darker than my complexion So it can just give that It's so good But yeah, the main reason why I really wanted to put the blush and bronzer in the same category is because I really feel like I've been split half and half this year I really do love both but the bronzer is just hidden right now Y'all know we could not talk about makeup without talking about lips Arguably my favorite type of makeup. I get so excited. If, if there's one thing you can sell me on like immediately, I, I will spend any and all coins on some good lip products. Last year we talked about the lip products separately. We did like best lip liners, best this, best that. This year, I thought it'd be really cool if we did a best lip combo category. First we have A, which is a lip combo of the Rare Beauty Lip Liner in the shade Strong, along with the Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick in the shade Wifey, and then topped with the NARS Afterglow Gloss in the shade A-Lister. The second nominee is gonna be B, which is a combo of the Rare Beauty Lip Liner in the shade Gifted, the Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick in the shade Wifey, topped off with the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Fussy. Clearly, I really love the Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick in the shade Wifey. It's just such a good inner lip shade, especially if you have like brown skin when you wear it with a brown lip liner, honey. It's so good, so obviously that's my favorite. Both lip combos, absolutely beautiful. I would say A runs a little bit more brownie neutral. B looks a lot more like mauve kind of pinkish. But if I really had to sit down and think about what do I go for, it's gonna be the brown, so our winner is going to be Lip Combo A. That's literally my signature lip, the brown lip liner, the pink inner, with like a glittery, warm, yellowy, goldy kind of gloss on top. That is me, okay? It literally goes with every single outfit, every single look, like it's just easy. So we are now down to our last category for makeup, which is going to be the best new product of the year. I'm talking about products that were launched this year. I tried them and absolutely fell in love and ended up having to restock because I just love them that much. The nominees are the Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm Powder, Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray with Vitamin C, the Rare Beauty Kind Words Lip Liners, One Size Butter Silk Concealer, and the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Concealer. You guys can probably guess I've been talking about it a lot, like obsessing about it, and that is going to be the Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm Powder. Honey. Of course we have her on today, baby. I would say I would really have to hand it to this product for making me feel like I can go without foundation because it's it's such a beautiful primer, a beautiful base for just a soft, airbrushed, beautiful, flawless makeup look. And it doesn't have to be glammy, it's just, it's perfect. All right, so moving on out from makeup, we're now getting into skincare. Skincare has been huge for me this year. I started this year on a mission, like, bruh, we gotta fix our skin, we gotta get this acne under control, 
and we gotta bring it back. And I'm so excited and happy and proud of myself to be ending this year with my skin in probably the best state it's been in in a long, long time. By finding an esthetician who was able to educate me a little bit more, give me access to amazing products has really kind of helped me like reshape my regimen in general for skincare. And so I'm really excited actually to tell y'all what I have been using. The first category is going to be the best cleanser. I like a cleanser that's really good and moisturizing, gets the job done, but is not stripping. Same thing for shampoo. I just, I like a good cleanse but I need it to not dry me out. All of these nominees get the job done right. So, the nominees are the Melly Skincare Gentle Hydrating Gel Cleanser, the Rose Ingleton MD Brightening Cleanser, and the Skin Fix Hydrating Cleanser. All of these, bomb.com, would use them anytime, any day. But the one that I've been kind of the most excited about this year is the Rose Ingleton MD Brightening Cleanser. I did not expect a brightening cleanser to, to be so balanced and to be just so good. I did not expect that. And for somebody who has healed her acne but has not fully, fully gotten rid of all of my acne spots yet, I really love to have a good brightening cleanser in rotation in my skincare regimen. So I am obsessed with this one because it's not stripping at all. She is a dermatologist, so I love that. I really love dermatologists founded brands because you can just trust that they're putting genuinely like really good ingredients in there and you can just tell when you use her products it is a balanced cleanser and it's bomb.com it's already won like so many awards just if you if you are in the market for a new cleanser add to cart next let's talk about best serums serums have been huge for me this year and again helping me to get rid of my acne and i'm really really focused on lightening and evening my skin tone lightening these dark spots and so i've got some really good serums to share with y'all the nominees for this category are Zo Skin Health Bright Alive Serum, the Desi Skin Vitamin C Serum, and the Hyper Skin Vitamin C and Dark Spot Serum. The winner is one that I'm using this entire year, like even to today. Still, it's on my face right now actually, and that is the Zo Skin Health Bright Alive Serum. It is so good. This is one of the recommendations for my esthetician. Zo Skin Health products were the first time that I actually saw like true, like drastic differences in my skin from using a skincare product consistently. It's just so good. It's effective, gets the job done, and we love. All right, so moving on to our next category, I was a little bit on the fence as to whether or not I even wanted to include this category here, but I figured I would mention it. We're actually not gonna pick a winner, and the category is gonna be for best moisturizers. Now, let me explain. I rotate moisturizers very, very frequently. As y'all know, I receive a lot of PR and everything, and honestly, the way my skincare regimen is set up right now, I really, really focus on making sure I'm using my favorite and like top-notch cleansers and serums. But when it comes to moisturizers, as long as it's like nice and moisturizing, I'm really not too picky about it. But with that being said, I thought it was really weird to have a whole skincare category and not touch on moisturizers at all. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is mention all of my favorites and I'm not gonna pick a winner. Don't come for me, don't be mad at me, but honestly, by tomorrow, I will probably have a new favorite. You know what I mean? I just, I rotate them so, so frequently. But here we go, I'm still gonna share what I've currently been rotating. So for me, best moisturizers of 2022 have been the Skin Fix Skin Barrier Plus Triple Lipid Peptide Face Cream, the Skin Fix Skin Barrier Restore Storing Gel Cream, the Lord Jones Acid Mantle Repairs CBD Moisturizer, the Body Shop Edelweiss Smoothing Day Cream, and the Zo Skin Health Daily Power Defense. I really kind of threw that last product, the Zo Skin Daily Power Defense, in there because. It's technically a serum, but it feels really good as a moisturizer, but I still sometimes wear moisturizer on top of it. You see what I mean? Like, moisturizers is such like a fluid category for me because I be using all of them all at the same time sometimes. <laughs> Not all of them, but y'all know what I mean. Let's move right along, shall we? So we cannot talk about skincare without talking about SPF. This will forever be a category because it will forever be relevant and it should forever be something that's in your skincare regimen every single day and I will never stop saying it. So let's talk about best SPF. The nominees are gonna be the Super Groove Every Single Face Sunscreen, the Super Groove Glow Sunscreen, the Melee Skincare Do The Most SPF Moisturizer, and the Murad Mineral Sunscreen. Literally, I use all of these. They are all, every single one <laughs> is sitting in my bathroom right now because I just rotate them all depending on what I'm going for that day. They are all extremely different. But in order to pick a winner, I really just sat down and thought, okay, what did I use 
like the most often this year especially like in the summer and I've actually restocked it three times that is the super goop every single face sunscreen I love it it is simple but I love the fact that the SPF is 50 nice high sun protection I'm honestly a huge fan of the round packaging super cute and it really just got the job done for me all right so the last and final category for skincare is gonna be overall skincare product of the year these are products that were actually game-changing for me for my skin products that I genuinely will not live without I don't care how much they go for I will be restocking them and I will have them in my skincare regimen because it's a necessity so the nominees are Zoskin health complexion renewal pads Zoskin health exfoliating polish Zoskin health daily power defense and the Zoskin health benzoyl peroxide acne spot treatment you may notice that all of the nominees are from Zoskin health and that is because that's my skincare brand of the year y'all we didn't even need to have a category for that because they're it they're everything period this is the brand that my esthetician had put me on and their stuff is literally so good it is expensive but it is genuinely worth it and in my opinion it is almost cheaper to just go and get their products versus having to go through a ton of other products from other brands that don't give you any results at all like I promise you Zoe Skin Health you get results when you use them consistently it's like literally worth every penny the winner for best overall skincare product of the year is gonna have to be that Zoe Skin Health daily power defense with all the things that I've done with my skin this year, I did my first chemical peel, I've done microneedling, I'm doing, you know, more exfoliations at home safely. We don't over exfoliate, but you know, I've been really working towards getting rid of these acne spots and stuff. So having that daily power defense is basically like that moisture and that nutrition that your skin is just gonna love you for. With all of the corrective treatments, it will help to keep your skin very nice and happy and healthy and moisturized. I literally can't live without it. I literally, I've already restocked it three or four times at this point now and I have like an extra one sitting in there waiting and ready for when my current one uh, finishes. When I say Zoe Skin Health is amazing, it's amazing and I'm gonna just leave it at that. All right y'all, we are winding down to the end of this video and I really wanted to kind of finish off with a couple of body care favorites. We have two categories under body care. We're gonna start off with best most sexy fragrance. fragrance. I mean, the older I get, the more I become obsessed with it. I get it. I used to look at people with perfume collections and think that they're crazy, but I'm becoming that person. I'm becoming the crazy fragrance person because I just love them so, so much. I was looking back at my fragrances last year and I've literally, there's only one that is still on the list from last year. Still love her. Just explored so much more and it's very, very exciting. Let's get into these nominees. We've got the Versace Dylan Blue Pour Femme, the Valentino Donna Born in Roma, which was last year's winner. We've also got the Fenty Oude Parfum and Prada Paradox. Believe it or not, this one is actually an easy one for me. There's one that I reach for every single time, although I love all of these and rotate them consistently. The one that I constantly reach for, the one that I always, every single time I wear it, I always get a compliment, at least one, is the Prada Paradox. She is a whole winner. She's sexy, she's not too much, not too little. In my opinion, she is one of the best, most sexy floral fragrances that I own and I love her. I love her so, so much. If you came to me and was like, girl, I'm in the market for a fragrance, what should I get? Prada Paradox. It also comes in really cute packaging. It's like a little triangle. It is cute. All right, so now we have actually made it to our final category of the evening. And so that's gonna be best overall body product. I have received a lot more body products in PR this year, which has been really exciting. I've been trying all of them, girl. I love me some good body products too. Like fragrance and body products have really, like I've started to become a little obsessed with this year. <laughs> but yeah, let's get into these nominees. So we've got the Being French Body Wash, the Body Shop Shea Body Butter, Body by TPH, their Baby Buffed Exfoliating Body Polish, and the European Wax Ingrown Hair Serum. Once again, I literally cannot live without any of these. I love them. I will restock them with my own money. If I really had to pick a clear winner, it's something that I was most excited by this year and most surprised by, honestly, and that is the Being French Body Wash. 
they have done something special with these body washes. First of all, I really like the fact that they're, I think it's nine or $10 at Target. I love that because for a while I was using like the bougie Necessaire body wash, which is like 20 to 30 bucks per bottle. And the bottle like runs out very quickly. I was just kind of getting tired of that. So I was really excited when I received this in PR. So being French is actually Ashley Tisdale's body care line. And they have something called scent technology or something like that in their stuff so their fragrance uh, it's so good like for their body washes they have a lavender one which is for like de-stressing and relaxing they have one that's like for joy and bliss there's one that's like energizing I love every single one of the body washes I have the lavender one in my shower right now it's so good absolutely love them and very very happy with the price point in comparison to like how much product you get it feels like a self-care moment like literally every single time I have a shower and I love it. I did also though really want to touch on that European wax ingrown hair serum. That is for your coochie. It actually works really well. This is what I use after I get my Brazilian wax. It's so good for caring for the skin. When you're waxing consistently, you need to make sure that you're caring for your skin down there and everything. And that ingrown hair serum is the bomb.com. Just in case you were wondering if you haven't tried it, Add to cart. <laughs> yeah, guys, that is gonna bring us to the end of our third annual Golden List Awards and also to the end of our 12 Days of Listless. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for another year of support. I love y'all so much. Y'all mean so much to me. I wouldn't be able to live the dream life that I do without you. As usual, if you wanna chat with me, go ahead and meet me in the comments, y'all. But otherwise, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your holiday season. I'm affirming a beautiful, prosperous, abundant, loving 2023 for us all okay period thanks so much for watching y'all i will see y'all again soon bye